What's poppin' guys, it's your boy Oshap here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Superman movies. He's inspired a lot of people. He stands for truth, justice, and the American way. Anyway guys, let's get right into it. Spoilers! Superman 1. John Williams' music so fantastic. The first scene with the Phantom Zone has pretty good quality. It definitely feels ahead of its time. It was made in 1975 and it feels like it was made in 2000. I like how Clark Kent can feel Krypton from far away. It makes it like a mystery when he's trying to find it. it. adds mysterious music to make it like a mystery. When he has to leave, I almost get teary-eyed when he says he has to leave. When she says, remember, son, always remember, I almost cried. Once again, the music being good. The hype I get watching Superman save Lois Lane is unreal. The fans in the theater must have been going bazungus. When he says bye, he just says bye and leaves. Then when he takes the man down who's climbing the building, I'm like, oh my gosh. Then he does a bunch of cool good deeds. He's just there. Then there's this cool scene where he imagines hugging his father. Then there's this scene where he's like, no drinking while flying. Then there's his greatest speech. I'm here for truth, justice, and the American way. When Lois Lane dies, I'm on the verge of crying for a couple of seconds. The Superman time travel wasn't that bad. He ends like Luther and his buddy in and it's hilarious. That'll wrap this movie up. I'll give Superman a 10 out of 10. Superman 2. This music is so great. They start showing us what happened in the first movie. This is good. Spider-Man 2 actually copied it. Clark Kent does witty acting, which is cool. Superman takes his Clark Kent clothes off. We go, yes! We have some good camera for the Eiffel Tower with beautiful shots of Paris. Lewis is Mary Sue in this movie, but not a bad Mary Sue. He is so high up, I feel scared. The bomb shatters the Phantom Zone and lets Zod and his villains out. Lex Luthor hilariously escapes. He sees the Fortress of Solitude and he's like, Look at Superman's home! He calls it cute. I like how it becomes an Earth playground for Zod and Superman. Ian Hackman is perfect as Lex Luthor. One of Zod's men, this dude, splits a table open. There are amazing lines in this, like Lex Luthor saying, Haven't you heard of parachutes? Or Ezra saying, Like pets! Superman tries to make a deal with Lex Luthor, and it immediately backfires, but it backfires on Lex Luthor, where the humanizer makes Zod's men into human. Of course, the memory kiss. This sucked. And kissing Lois Lane makes her lose her memory of Superman being Clark Kent. Because I wanted to see Superman and Lois Lane married, it would have been cool to see them married. Actually, Clark Kent, because Superman would give his identity away. They could have used that time to send Lex Luthor back to jail. He hilariously gets back at this bad guy who hurt him earlier by hurting him. That'll wrap up my review of Superman 2. I will give a 10 out of 10, but not better than the first one. Superman 3. Superman's mom dies, and this is seen off screen. This could have been used as an emotional moment, and Richard Pryor gives terrible speeches. Blah, 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 blah. There's this dumb, evil Superman that comes out of Superman, and it's stupid. Superman says, I don't do saving anymore. Superman goes to a bar. You heard me. I said Superman goes to a bar. They ruined my perception of Superman. I have to say Christopher Reeve has good acting, but that doesn't change a single thing. Superman literally lets himself be crushed by metal. Thankfully, good Superman beats bad Superman. I mean, thankfully, because bad Superman is horrible. He does super welding. Somehow, Superman knows where the bad guys are. There is little to none knowledge to know who the bad guys are, to know where the bad guys are. Then there's a super video game. Whoa, look at this. Somehow they find kryptonite, and they're not Lex Luthor. This lady gets electrocuted, so she becomes a machine. The ending is okay where he goes on a date with Lana Lang. Most of this movie is super duper boring. See what I did there? I'm going to give this movie a 3 out of 10. Superman 4. Superman gives Lois Lane the magic for getting kissed, which turns out to be cringy. Superman throws a missile at the sun, which makes Lex Luthor's baby nuclear man evil Superman. Or they could have just made Bizarro, but he dies every time he's not in the sun. Somehow China and New York are at the same day at the same time. Then Superman uses his eyes to put the Great Wall of China back together, making no sense whatsoever. Then with a bunch of bad mushing scenes together with Superman being pushed away. Then Clark Kent shows up at the Daily Planet, presuming Superman's dead. Then he's sick. Nuclear Man causes a fire and makes people fly. What a terrible slow-mo fight. Nuclear Man does this. What is this? After kicking Superman away, he comes back just to do this. They make a lady breathe in outer space. How? Just how? The only scene in the second half of the movie I liked was when they whistled at Lex Luthor. This movie gets a 0 out of 10. Superman Returns. Well, apparently Clark Kent's mom is back again. This is a cool scene, but it takes too long. Superman's haircut is backwards from the originals, but whatever. Superman's just standing there and everyone's clapping and it's like, yay. Also, there's an updated table at Metropolis. I gotta say, it must have been cool to see Superman flying for the first time in a while, but it doesn't matter if you're in the future because you've seen Superman flying tons of times. Still cool, though. This Mega Blaster looks dumb, though. I mean, look at this thing. Damn, though. This is a cool scene.
This is the scene with the screaming lady. This was dumb at first. Then Superman comes in and it's dope. I love this scene where Kryptonite is found. I also love how Superman is all over the TVs and we see Clark Kent smiling and happy. We didn't have the big ball in the original movies, but this makes it better. This was a cool twist when the rocks weren't there. There's one scene where Lois Lane and her son are stuck in the boat. She knows her son has superpowers and he doesn't do anything. Maybe that's just crazy Lois Lane. All she had to do was ask. Of course they make a Jesus reference. Everything in this movie was perfect. I give this movie a 10 out of 10. Man of Steel. Hans Zimmer's new music is amazing. The first scene is amazing. And Zod saying, I will find him, is cool. The way they depict Superman as someone above everyone else is cool. I have to say, Henry Cavill's relationship with Amy Adams is good. When Superman and Zod crash in the middle, it reminds me of Harry Potter crashing in the middle. But then they do it again, which ruins it. When I see a Superman movie, I'm hoping for some hope. This movie gave me hope that men could beat bad guys, but not about the world. When Superman kills Zod, it gives me chills to see what he has to do to win. I also like it when Superman confronts the army general, the lady calls him hot, I laughed hard. When Clark Kent starts working at the Daily Planet, it gives me cringe vibes if there wasn't a Batman vs Superman. Thankfully there wasn't that much cringe before the announcements were made. I'm going to give Man of Steel a 7 out of 10. Batman vs Superman. In the first few moments we see Ben Affleck's perfect acting, but it's just a reaction to Superman vs Zod. We see bad guys, but we don't know who they are. Jimmy the photographer gets shot in the head early. Already. Part of this movie was made to introduce Wonder Woman. It gets annoying after a while. When Lex Luthor says the red keeps are coming, I get chills. So then Superman has to kill Batman or his mom dies. Instead of just talking it out, he just pushes Batman away and fights him. There's a bunch of stops in the fight. Then it's back on again. Superman dumbly fights Batman instead of telling him. The Martha scene is laughable. It becomes sad. Batman tells Martha, I'm a friend of your sons. I mean, already they were just enemies. For some reason, Lois Lane jumps in water when rocks are falling. That was a dumb decision. Could you do anything else but dive in water? She was close to drowning. Good thing Superman picked her up. Batman is literally useless. All he does is run away from everything. Poor Superman has the kryptonite. Then weirdly, Wonder Woman is smiling. Superman is killed, which is sad, but there's no emotional effort to keep us upset until Lois Lane cries. I mean, they already killed him in his second movie. Batman's just standing there. Not gonna lie, I almost shed a tear. Then when Superman's back alive, I'm like, okay. I'm gonna give Batman vs. Superman an 8.4 out of 10. Finally, I rank all the Superman movies. At 7, we have Superman 4, The Quest for Peace, with a 0 out of 10. At 6, we have Superman 3, with a 3 out of 10. 5 is Man of Steel with a 7 out of 10. 4 is Batman vs Superman with an 8.4 out of 10. 3 Superman 2, 10 out of 10. 2 Superman 1, 10 out of 10. And finally is Superman Returns with a 10 out of 10. Anyway guys, if you like this video, I'm your boy Oshap and I'm out. See you peeps.